I'm sure that you've had a button come loose from a jacket or a shirt, especially if it's one that gets a lot of wear. Oftentimes, these clothes are sold with buttons attached less securely than you can attach yourself. Today, I'm going to show you how to simply sew them back on so you can continue to wear that favorite shirt. Here I have a shirt that's missing its button. Many times when you buy a nicer shirt or coat at the store, it will come with a spare button in case one ever falls off. If you've lost the button that's fallen off, don't forget to check to see if there's a spare sewn into the lining of your garment. The thread I'll be using is this 40 weight polyester called Designer. It's a strong and reliable thread that's perfect for any garment sewing. Its weight and finish also matches the majority of threads used in buttons and clothing. I've chosen a color that matches closely to the original thread color used on the other buttons, so it doesn't stand out. If you are sewing on a metal button, you might want to choose Home Deck as your thread. Home Deck is a super strong polyester thread, and as the metal on the button tends to wear through the thread quicker, the strong thread will ensure your handiwork lasts for years. For either thread, I'll choose a short, sharp hand needle. To begin, cut a length of about 40 inches and thread your needle. Pull both ends so they are an even length from the eye and not at the end. You'll be using two strands of thread with each stitch for efficiency. If you need to mark the spot again, lie your garment flat and place the buttonhole side up. Push a pin through the buttonhole opening at the point the button should sit and with tailor's chalk or a disappearing marker, mark the point of the pin on the fabric on the other side. Ensure that this is in the correct spot and that the pattern of the button is facing the same direction as your other buttons. Push your needle down through the fabric from the right side to the wrong side at the marked spot so that the knot you tied will hide between the button and the garment. Hold the button in place with one hand then push your needle through the back side of the fabric and back up through one of the buttonholes. You can see the pattern the thread was stitched on on your other buttons, so follow the same pattern. Push the needle back down through the second button eye and out to the back. Continue going between the two holes in the button back and forth five or six times until the button is secured. Remember not to pull the thread too tightly or it will be difficult to button your garment. If your button will be going through a thicker fabric, like a waistband, it's a good idea to create a thread shank. Place something between the button and the garment and hold it there while you take your stitches. A knitting needle, a toothpick, or the point of a stitch ripper can work for this. After your last stitch, come up so the needle is in between the button and the fabric. Pull out the object you use as a spacer. Now wrap the thread several times around the thread between the button and the garment. Then take a few stitches in place in the fabric between the button and the garment. Notch your thread and you are done. The shank you've created will give space for the bulkier fabric so it's not so difficult to do up the button. Follow these simple steps and your favorite shirt or pants will look as good as new. Leave a comment in the comment section below and let us know what type of video you'd like to see next. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like this video and hit subscribe for more great tips and tutorials. Or you can visit us at hashtag Tip Tuesday on Facebook and Instagram for weekly sewing related tips. We'll see you all next time.